welcome back to another video. So guys, this week I am preparing for two of the biggest auditions I have ever done, which is very nerve wracking, very exciting, and very scary. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to do a video about how I prepare for auditions because I do quite a bit of theater related content on my channel and I decided to do a video on how I prepare for auditions. This video can be used to learn how you can prepare for auditions and just to see how I prepare for my auditions. So today is Wednesday, January 22nd, and I have an audition Friday the 24th at 6 p.m. And then I have an audition Saturday the 25th at 6 p.m. So the audition on Saturday is for Schoolhouse Rock Live Junior. And then Friday night, is an audition for models, singers, actress, actors, and future influencers, so it's perfect for me. Um, so I have a lot to do actually to prepare for both auditions. This is probably the most audition prep I've ever done in one week because I literally just found out I was doing this audition on Friday night yesterday is when I found out about it and decided I wanted to do it. Even though I didn't have a lot of preparation time, I felt that it would be important to do it, even if I don't get in, but it's a very good agency. Signs a lot of people with contracts, modeling agencies, um, on TV shows, so it is a big opportunity for me and I'm very excited. See, the thing is, I didn't know about this until yesterday, so I am not really sure what I'm going to sing for auditions, if anything. Um, I'm not sure if they want me to have the whole song prepared. So I'm gonna go go with something that I already know. I'm thinking I'm not that girl from Wicked because I'm pretty sure I already know that by heart. Or, yeah, probably I'm not that girl because I'm pretty sure I know that by heart. So I haven't really practiced for auditions yet today, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's stand up. We're gonna do some warm-ups and stuff. We're gonna practice for auditions. Okay, so I'm gonna do some warm-ups. So, <clears throat> ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 ta da so that's just a really good vocal warm up that really exercises your core kind of right here and your diaphragm. It's a good vocal warm up. Do re mi fa so la di do do re mi fa so la di do. Okay, these are just some vocal warm ups that I used to do when I was in a voice lesson, so, yeah. <clears throat> unique New York, unique New, New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. <clears throat> toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. So some tongue twisters, some vocal warmups to warm up my diaphragm, my vocal cords, um, tongue twisters, because they're really good practice diction, and yeah. So, now I'm going to practice both of my songs. I'm only going to sing a little bit of the song on camera. Hi, my name is Megan Ropes. Here is my headshot. And I am auditioning for the part of Shuli. Future Megan jumping in here editing, and I just want to say, what you just saw was me acting out a slate. So a slate is when you go into an audition you're supposed to slate and say, Hi, my name is Megan Rokes, and I'm auditioning for the part of, you know, whatever the part is. And you're supposed to hand them your headshot with your resume stapled on the back, and you kind of just slate, and that's kind of how you're supposed to start an audition. So that's me showing you guys what a slate is supposed to be. Well, there's a great new craze that's sweeping the nation. Come on, do the circulation. It starts with your heart. What a great sensation. Come on, do the circulation. That's all I'm going to say on camera. I feel pretty confident for once with this song, and I usually find it really hard to learn um, specific songs when they're given to you for an audition because musical songs are kind of different than regular music that I listen to. And they're kind of, usually they're typically harder to learn for me, at least. I don't know why. But this one I actually feel really good about, and I'm feeling really confident in it. So I'm really happy with this one, and the fact that I'm just feeling really good with it. Um, so yeah. And now I'm going to practice the tryout script that I'll be doing at the Friday night audition. Let me just like remember it. I know it mostly, and I only read it twice, which is crazy that I already kind of memorized it. But it's really short, so it's easy. So 
Sometimes clothes express how you feel, and sometimes they determine it. Fashion, some people get it, and some people get it for less. I shop at TJ Maxx where I can get all the latest fashions for less. Yay! I know that by heart by now, so that's good. So I know we'll do good with that part of that audition. Now, I'm still not really sure what song I'm going to sing for my Friday night audition, or if I'm going to sing at all. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to practice I'm Not That Girl. Don't really think I know all the lyrics, but we're going to sing. Hands touch, eyes meet, sudden silence, sudden heat, heart sleep in a giddy world. So yeah. So that is all the audition prep I'm going to do on camera, but right now I'm going to go practice this full song a couple of times and then I'm going to practice I'm Not That Girl fully through again. And you don't want to sing like constantly all day when you're preparing for auditions because you do want to sing in your voice and your throat, obviously, for auditions. Like, God forbid I sing too much and ruin my voice for auditions, you know, that would be a problem. So don't sing too much, but sing as much as you can without hurting your voice. I would practice your songs maybe two, three times a day, but you don't want to sing too much and hurt your voice. Drink a lot of water, a water with lemon, hot water with lemon, tea with honey, um, all things like that really help with auditions, so yeah. I also do a lot of projection exercises and imp improv exercises when preparing for auditions because they can help you if you mess up on a monologue, um, improvise. You know, obviously you need to have good diction and projection, so I do a lot of exercises that will help with that for auditions. So here are just some tips for auditions. Um, for the next few days, I'm going to take you guys along with me every day to, as we get up to auditions, and show you the audition process and how I prepare as we get closer and closer, and there's just a lot of things I have to do to continue preparing. Humongous prep for audition, guys is drinking lots of water. I'm currently having water with lemon right <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm just about to jump in the shower. Um, today is January 23rd, and my audition is tomorrow, and I also have one on Saturday. So I am, like, on full go mode, like, practice, 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 and do all the things possible. I can to fully prepare myself for this audition. So one tip I like to do when getting ready for auditions is anytime I have free time where I'm not focusing on something else, like when I'm just in the shower, you know, waiting for my hair wash to soak in or whatever, um, practice your audition pieces, practice your monologues, practice your songs. And like, I like to do this when I'm in the shower, when I'm falling asleep for bed at night, um, just to help me remember the more practice the better and especially going over it in your head is really helpful because then you're not actually using your voice and you're not gonna have to worry about like ruining your voice before the rehearsal you're just going through it in your head you're just running through it in your head and it's gonna help a lot so that's what I'm gonna do right now another tip when I get ready for auditions take a break I'm going to see a movie because I've been practicing very hard and I deserve a break and I also need to rest my voice so so guys, I'm currently at the movies, seeing the movie Like a Boss. Um, I was at home most of the day practicing for auditions, and I decided it's time for a break. One, to rest my voice, two, to just like de-stress a little bit, um, and I feel like taking breaks and going out and doing something the day previously to your audition is just a really good way to like de-stress. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go see the movie Like a Boss and relax and chill out and then go home and prepare some more for my audition. I'm feeling pretty ready for the most part, although I switched my song. Uh, yesterday I was singing I'm Not That Girl From Wicked and today I was singing Valerie, um, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sing Valerie at my audition because I know it better and now that I have to sing a acapella, um, I need a song that I know by heart and I know the rhythm and the beat really well. So, I'm gonna go see my movie. Hold on, guys. They have a pad and tampon machine over there with candy in it. What the f <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go see the movie now. Alrighty, you guys. So I got home from the movies, which was very nice because I totally got really relaxed and just 
took a break from audition prep. So right now I'm gonna practice for my audition for Schoolhouse Rock Jr. Come on, do the circulation. So come on, everybody exercise your body for circulation. It's a function that's so out of sight. Circulate right. Okay, so I'm still pretty good with this song. So I'm gonna practice Valerie now. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water and I think of all the things of what you're doing and in my head I paint a picture since I come on home well my body's been a mess and I've missed your ginger hair and the way you like to dress are you shopping anywhere change the color of your hair and are you busy why don't you come on over Valerie now I'm gonna do my little monologue for tomorrow night's audition. Sometimes fashion expresses the way you feel, and sometimes it determines it. Fashion, some people get it, and some people get it for less. I shop at TJ Maxx, where I get all the latest fashions for less. Um, I'm definitely getting more nervous as we get closer and closer. Good morning, you guys. It is audition day one of two. I'm pretty nervous, not gonna lie, but I'm about to get up and go make myself a cup of tea um, to start my day because it'll be really good for my throat. Probably gonna be singing quite a bit today, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so I made my tea. I'm having some lemon tea with honey in it. This is really, really great for practice for auditions. This is really great for your throat, so I am drinking, I'm gonna drink that whole cup um, of lemon tea with honey. So. Right now, I'm going to start practicing for auditions. Um, I want to practice a little bit now and a little bit later um, to make sure that I get enough practice and also not too much practice because I don't want to ruin my voice before the audition, you know? So, I'm going to start with some vocal warm-ups, of course. And, you know, you guys have seen all the vocal warm-ups that I do to prepare for auditions, so I'm not going to show those on camera, but I'm going to do those again right now. Okay, I just finished my vocal warm-ups, and now I'm going to sing part of my song, at least. I don't think they're going to want to hear the whole song. Usually they cut you off about a minute in, but you never know. They might, so I might just have to improvise and just pretend I know all the lyrics. To fix it for ya, are you shopping anywhere? Change the color of your hair, and are you busy? Why don't you come on over, Valerie? I did it. I feel pretty confident that that was like a pretty good run of the song. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna do good. Now of course I'm gonna practice my monologue. Yeah, I think I know that by heart. I literally read it once um, when they emailed me the script and I know it. It's like pretty easy so. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I was feeling a lot more nervous 10 minutes ago before I started practicing, but now that I'm here practicing, I'm confident that I know the song lyrics and I know the monologue, and you know what, I feel good. I feel good. So, practicing makes me feel better because I know that I know it and I know that I can do it, and going into any audition, you just really have to be confident in yourself and know that if you don't make it in, if you don't get a callback, if you don't get the role, it is okay. As actors and singers, we just have to you know, deal with that, that you're going to go into probably hundreds of auditions throughout your lifetime if this is what you choose to do as your career, which for me it is. And a lot of the time you're not going to get in the show and that's okay. You're going to have to just deal with that. But then there's going to be a lot of shows that you do get in. Um, don't get yourself down. Don't get down on yourself if you don't get a callback for this one audition, you know, because there's always more auditions. There's always more shows. So don't get too upset if you don't make it into one show because as actors, it happens a lot, and it's just something you kind of have to get used to, and you can't let it, like, knock your confidence, because it doesn't mean that you were bad, it doesn't mean that they didn't want you in the show, but sometimes they have hundreds of people auditioning, and they just have to make a choice, and sometimes they give lead roles or roles to the underdogs who maybe haven't done as many shows as you because they want to give them you know, a new experience, or maybe your strong suit is not dancing and someone else is better at dancing, but you're better at acting, you know, 
there's a lot that goes into it but don't get upset if you don't book one role there will always be more and don't get upset if you screw up at an audition um i've had people i've seen people come out auditions before crying and i know that it can get upsetting when you know that you mess up on your audition um and i mess up on auditions but sometimes it was easy to play off sometimes it was not easy to play off and it was very noticeable that i messed up to the judges or to the directors and casting directors that i was auditioning for um but don't let it get to you too much because it happens everyone messes up don't cry over it don't get upset over it you everyone messes up sometimes in their career and that's okay that makes us better actors because then next time we know oh i messed up on my monologue maybe this audition i need to practice my monologue more maybe this audition i need to focus more on diction of my monologue or memorizing my monologue better or you know working on it more so it is okay you know if you mess up do not cry do not be upset everything will be fine i promise so that was something that i didn't learn when i went through my first few auditions and came home really upset because i didn't make it into the show so you know and then when i got my first lead role i was so shocked and so excited and i was like i am talented yeah <laughs> Alrighty, guys i'm gonna keep drinking my tea and water and watch some netflix and rest while also running my monologue in my head a thousand times <laughs> time to start getting ready full of stuff and I can barely walk in these heels but I'm back from my audition it went well they had us singing basically the way the auditions were set up is they gave us forms when we got there on the table we went in the lobby of the hotel it was in filled them out and then they brought everyone who was auditioning into a room there was only about 40 or 50 people not that many there is other auditions though tomorrow so they called us all into room we sat down 40 or 50 people we sat down, we listened to the ladies talk for like literally 40 minutes. They just told us all about the company and it was called Industry Network and all the people that they've signed, all the famous people that are now famous and have been on TV shows that were signed through them. But they told us about the people who've made it big that started with them. So it was really eye-opening, really inspiring. Um, and then she told us like how much some of these people made, like for booking a commercial she asked us do you think you're worth eighty thousand dollars and i was the only one in the room that was like mm -hmm, my talent is worth that kind of money and like there was a couple other people that were kind of like mm, like like not sure kind of like mm. but like no you have to have confidence your talent if you're talented you are worth that kind of money you are worth it if you're that talented you're priceless so um I was like, yes. I was shaking my head. I was like, hell yeah, I'm worth that kind of money. And then there was two tables because there was two ladies. Um, so they turn on music. At first I was nervous. I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to audition in front of everyone. I don't know if we're going to be auditioning in front of everyone. They're going to take us in a separate room or what. But they had two tables and then there was music that they played to like muffle out the sounds. And like, like, so the people who were sitting in the room couldn't hear our auditions. Only, we, you know, only we could. So it was kind of hard to hear what the lady was saying to me because there was music blaring. But then she had me do my monologue. A lot of people were unprepared. They told me, it said on the website to bring photos, which I did, um, to wear, like, run my appropriate shoes, which is heels. So I wore heels. And to wear dressy casual, which I did. And no one else was prepared. Everyone else was kind of wearing, like, jeans, just white vans. So it was like, oh, okay. A lot of people seemed unprepared. The girl next to me was like, 
we were supposed to wear heels because she heard me talking to my cousin who came with me to the audition and I was like well that's what they told me and then she was like we were supposed to have photos and I was like well that's what they they said on the website and she was like no one else had photos no one else was wearing like fancy clothes and no one else had heels on so I was like what the hell like it's kind of weird I had a whole song prepared and then I sang one minute of the song and they had music playing so I was singing acapella listening to other music in the background it was really hard but I just had to tune out the music in the background and sing 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 and that's what I did it was very interesting then I did my audition it went really good I knew the commercial by heart um I did it really well with it and she just she complimented my dimples the lady who I audition, auditioned to she said that I did good and she said they will let me know on Sunday or Monday if I got a call back they'll text me um and then they handed us a packet saying all the stuff about financial planning in the beginning they said if somebody wants your talent if an agent wants your talent you should not be paying them and then they're asking us for money it was over a grand so you know they talked about you know how like it's a great program and it's gonna like get you signed and I was all excited and then I asked for over a grand in money and I got kind of down because I don't have that kind of money I can't you know I can't pay out that kind of money in order for me to you know, make it to the top, possibly, and make it big, possibly. So when we left, I was a little bit down because I was like, that sucks. And my mom wasn't going to give me that kind of money, so I can't continue working with Industry Network even if I get a call back, which kind of sucks. So it was an interesting experience, even though I cannot continue even if I do get a call back because of the money. I got free headshots, I got practice, it was just a good experience, you know? So it was worth it, I think. And that was the audition. Now, of course, I have another audition tomorrow. I was going to practice when I got home, but I'm way too tired and worn out from today's audition. So I'm going to rest and practice in the morning. <sighs> I can just now kind of take a deep breath. Now this audition is over. We'll find out if we got called back on Sunday or Monday. And I will let you guys know. Unfortunately, if I do get a call back, I cannot continue with the process. It made me a little down, but I'm not going to stop me, not going to let it bring me down. I'm going to make it big someday, with or without Industry Network. I'm going to rest now and watch Grey's Anatomy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. I always wake up at like noon, so I didn't bother to set an alarm, which was really stupid. Um, And I woke up and looked at the clock and it was 12.42. That was almost really bad. On the way out, I grabbed a banana because I'm probably going to be really hungry. Some blueberries, I didn't even get to eat. And a giant water bottle because, you know, and I barely practiced this song. I don't have it memorized. And I'll see you later. Let you know how these auditions go. And that was crazy. Guys, literally, if I didn't leave my house when I did, if I didn't wake up when I did, I would have missed auditions. The future Megan looking like a fetus jumping in because I'm editing and... I don't know what happened. I literally just like forgot that this vlog existed and I stopped vlogging. So I just wanted to say that the audition I had that day for Schoolhouse Rock went pretty well. Um, I got a lead role. I'll be playing Tom. So just want to say that that audition went very well. So that was on Saturday and obviously I got a lead role. So that's awesome. I'm excited to perform in this show. I look like a fuse right now. Don't mind that. But I stopped vlogging at some point. So I needed to like fill you guys in. Now, these next clips jump to the Monday after this weekend of auditions, and that's when these clips take place. Alright, so it is now Monday after my audition with Industry Network. And the weekend, it's Monday after both my auditions. <sighs> Yesterday morning, I got the text that was my callback for Industry Network, and I was so excited. And then I was sad because I was going to have to turn it down because my mom didn't have the money to put me into the program. This morning, um, the lady from Industry Network called and I thought my mom was just going to have to just turn it down because we kind of had discussed it already that I wouldn't really be able to um, proceed. But then my mom, because I was sitting next to her and she was on the phone call and my mom said to the lady that we're going to do it. And I looked at her and I was like, no. And she was like, yeah. And I started crying and screaming and shaking because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. And now I get to do it. And this is an amazing, amazing opportunity. And I'm so excited to 
work with some amazing people throughout the four weeks of this course and then perform in front of agents and managers but this is amazing i mean i literally i'm gonna start crying again i don't know it's just kind of emotional because i thought i wasn't gonna be able to do it but my mom she was able to get the money for me that i needed to do this and like it means a lot that she she would do that for me like even when she has bills to pay and whatever if you're ever watching this mom i love you very very much and i'm extremely grateful that you did this for me because this is huge for me and the lady who i auditioned for said that they really like me they really like my look um that they really want me and this is a huge confidence boost because i've never gone and done something this big in my acting career or like in my performing career and in a month i'm gonna be performing in front of agents that can possibly get me jobs and this is huge 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 for me i'm so happy I'm, I'm like crying tears of joy and i just know that <sighs> like i was not doing good in december when i left school and i was really just down and everything kind of sucked but like now so many good things are happening and like i knew 2020 was going to be my year and i was right and like so many good things are happening since i left school and i'm just in such a better place now than i was a month ago so don't give up things do get better and i also want to say this to everyone who has ever told me that i can't sing or i'm not a good singer because here i am i kicked ass singing and acting in front of the person i auditioned for and now they want me and now you know, I'm getting a big opportunity because of my singing and acting. So this is to everyone who has ever told me that I can't sing. Because I never gave up. I kept practicing. I kept singing. And it got me far. It got me to a really good spot in my singing and acting career. So, alright. I'm going to go in the house now and get ready for my first rehearsal of Schoolhouse Rock. This was an amazing weekend. <sighs> wow. Just wow.